What is going on, guys? Carter here. Got another fresh off the presses unboxing. Super excited about this one. Coming in from DLT Trading. These guys are awesome. Uh, really like their stuff. Let's get into this. What are we going to use? What to use for the unboxing? What about this Blade Runner Systems Thresher XL that I've never featured on this channel and never done a review on? And I may never do it. I don't know. I don't know if anybody cares. It's a cool, uh, cool little knife, though, the Thresher XL. Gavco design. Uh, good stuff. <clears throat> Had it for a long time. So here we go. All right, what do we got? We got paper. We got a box. We got paper. And then we got this. Now, this feels small. I think it is, it is small, but it... I'm used to like, oh wow, I'm used to this knife being big. And so this one's kind of small. Oh, look at that. It is the Strider 0.75 AR Tumbled Tonto. I almost had that out of frame. Tumbled Tonto. Let's get it a little bit. Let's get a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That's intimate right there. Oh boy. So this knife, um, I missed this one when it was flying around and everybody was talking about it because I took a sabbatical from the knife world for quite a while. Here is the famous Strider Tactical Baggy. I love how in the description for this they make sure that you know there's no like box or fancy pouch or anything. You just get a bag in true Strider fashion. There is the logo. I didn't, man. Oh, there she is. I, uh, I was heartbroken when I found out Strider had closed up shop. And I was also really, really sad that I, ooh, yeah, sucker stiff. Um, and I am still not on frame. Oh my gosh. I zoomed in too much, guys. Sorry. Zoomed in too much. I'm looking at the knife and not looking at the framing. And that sucks. Um, and I apologize. Uh, so I missed this when it was super popular, or at least when it first showed up, what, a couple of years ago, somehow I missed it. Um, and uh, so this latest batch popped up and I'm like, you know, I got to get on it. I was a little bit nervous with this knife, particularly uh, the finish. Um, I, I didn't understand the finish. I, I still don't completely understand the finish. It is like a satin where they threw it in the tumbler for like a few minutes, <laughs> you know? It's very odd. I've never seen anybody attempt this finish before. I don't know if I like it. I will report back to you um, on that. Uh, and I don't know what birthed this concept of, uh, of using this finish, but here it is. Nonetheless, tumbled satin finish. So depending on how the light hits it, sometimes like there, it's like, oh, that's satin. You can see the beautiful grind lines and then you hit it like that and you're like, oh, that's kind of weird. It's got like scuffs on it. I don't know. I, sorry guys. Um, so here's the deal. I originally placed an order for the blacked blade, the blue titanium. I really love this blue titanium um, with the black blade. And uh, last minute I canceled it. I was like, no, I don't want the black blade. I want the satin blade. Now I'm kind of wishing I maybe went with the black blade. I think that would look cool. But anyways, uh, S45V. What are we looking at? What is this? You know what this is, right? Everybody knows what this is. Look how little those thumb studs or stop pins are. They're like, they're like little baby stop pins. That's interesting. Strider logo. So this is a Strider, Strider AR, which is why they, why they called it uh, the Strider AR. 0.75 because it is 0.75 the size of the original. Strider AR. Um, now, everybody knows the controversy with this thing, right? The Medford. They call it a Medford collab. Strider Medford collaboration. What? In what world is this a collaboration? Medford manufactured it. That's it. I've heard people talk about how they can see Medford's DNA in the design. No, this is Strider. Like, that's coming from somebody that's only familiar with like the SNG or SMF. The Strider AR is a Strider design and it is this. The only difference between this and the old titanium frame lock Strider AR, because they also did a, 
a liner lock of like the GB. We remember their first folding models was actually a liner lock called the GB. I think that was the first. Um, and then there was the AR, which was a liner lock as well, as I believe. And then later down the road in Strider history, they offered this as a titanium frame lock, kind of like this. Of course, full size. This is 0.75, which is really awesome, by the way. Uh, really smart on their point to offer it in this size. Really digging that so far. Size is amazing. Um, I was worried it was going to be too small, but because it's so thick, she's a thick girl. Because it's so thick, uh, outstanding. Anyways, uh, they offered it in... Um, where was I going with this? Uh, th <laughs> they had... Uh, yeah, this is a Strider design. 100% Strider. All Strider design. Medford manufactured it. And of course they did. Strider sold their shop. It's not like... It's not like they kept their manufacturing building and machines and just like powered them down and put up a clothes sign. They sold all their stuff. They got out of manufacturing. They don't have the capability to manufacture knives anymore. So somebody has to do it. Medford did it. So all Medford did was make this design. But this is a 100% Strider design through and through. And, you know, I don't necessarily love Medford. I don't love his designs. I don't really love his personality. Uh, but he does... He has a top-class manufacturing facility at the end of the day. He can manufacture like nobody's business, excellent stuff, high, high-quality, precision manufacturing. So when I heard that he was doing these, I was like, awesome. That's great. I'd much rather Medford do these than some other random manufacturing facility that I've never heard of or that I don't trust. I know Medford can manufacture a top-quality Top quality knife. And so far, it looks like they did. I mean, this machining on here is precision, baby. This thing is fantastic. Uh, super stiff, right side, out, right out of the box, which is what I, oh man, it's like, it's like going back in time. You know, like, it's like the, the y'all or nothing days. You know, like back in the day, this, this is what it was like unboxing a new titanium frame lock, you know, like crazy. I thought those days were gone. No uh, lock bar insert, no um, uh, ball bearing pivot. You know, this is classic. I assume this probably has bronze phosphor washers or are they Teflon? I'm not sure, but uh, definitely washers in here. You get that kind of smooth, stiff opening that's gonna break in and smooth out. Throw a little bit of oil in there. Super strong detent, everything locks up. Love this blue, look at that blue. Sexy, sexy. You got the pocket clip with the hole and the little dingus that goes in the hole. Straight up Strider, 100% Strider design. Uh, the beauty of the GB too is you don't have the issue of the awkward lanyard hole, even though nobody uses lanyards anymore. One of the problems with the old uh, Strider SMFs and SNGs is it would stick the lanyard hole like over here somewhere um, and the blade would actually kind of cut through it a little bit and it would kind of cut off your lanyard because there was just nowhere to put it. Uh, but on this design you can obviously easily put it through here. You can, you can thread the lanyard through both scales or just one scale because it's an open design. Really glad I picked this up. Um, I know they're going to hit the secondary market way cheaper and I'll probably be like, man, I should have waited, but Really cool. I'm glad I have one of these back in my collections. I've, I've missed my Striders. Um, like I said, I, I don't know on the finish yet. I feel kind of weird. It feels kind of weird. I don't know if I like the look of it. I got to spend some time with this and see. The good thing though with that finish is um, you're not worried about getting that first little scuff on there, right? Because the whole thing is like scuffed up. I'm just taking a look at the line work on here. Really really good like these grinds like all line up like like i said man <laughs> medford can make a knife you know like if he ends up not wanting to produce his own designs anymore he's got a career in just manufacturing for hire um because he's got his stuff figured out now, whatever i don't care what you think about him or his designs like manufacturing he's got it he's, he's good He's good. He's got the right stuff. He's good at doing that. He's not good at doing some other things, but he is really good at the manufacturing side. So 
I know some people were angry because this isn't made in a Strider facility. Part of me gets that. The other part of me is like, as long as it's made in the U.S. by like a known competent plant, I don't know why it matters. I mean, it's not like, you know, if you bought a Strider knife made by Strider back in 2015, it's not like that same person made the knife you bought in 2017. Or even that that person or persons that worked on that knife were even still employed there. The, manu the, the manager of the shop may be different. Like, it, it's all just personnel anyways. Why does it matter whose name is on the lease of the facility? This is a Strider design. Two Strider specs by a competent manufacturer. That's all I care about. I think it's great. I think it's great. I want to see him do an SMF run. I want to see him do an SNG run. Like, hell yeah. Like, do all of that. I want to buy those again and not, you know, crazy aftermarket prices. So um, I, I may or may not do another video on this. We'll have to see um, how much I like it or if, or if I have anything else to kind of say on this uh, because there's a lot of videos on the AR.75. Ton of videos. Like everybody and their dog has reviewed this knife. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see if I, you know, play around with it. See if I come up with uh, anything worthwhile to say. So till then, guys, uh, I'm out of here. This is cool. I'm glad. I love this blue. That's sexy. This thing is awesome. The size, the size of this thing is perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Later.